Hello and welcome to the Intos and Agency Block integration demo video. We're going to do a fairly deep dive into the features and functionality of this integration, um, all the while mentioning some of the features you would have using the Intos system, even if you didn't have Agency Block as your CRM. There are multiple ways that you can make and receive phone calls with the Intel system. You can use our app in the desktop view like this. It's currently running in Chrome. You could use your mobile device, your iPhone or Android device with the Intos app installed. Or you could use a beautiful desk phone like this Yealink T54W, which is our most popular model. I'm going to demonstrate what happens when an incoming call comes into your system and is found, the contact is found in Agency Block. And I'm going to have this particular screen open, although it's important to recognize this does not have to be up all of the time. It does need to be running in the background to get the full features that I'm about to show with the real time notifications and the clickability. But again, remembering that the Intel system is cloud-based, Agency Block is cloud-based, they're still going to be communicating with each other regardless of whether you are at your computer or you're not. And if you have Agency Block or Intel open or not, there's still going to be communication there if there is a phone call that is made or received and that contact phone number is found in agency block. So as you can hear there is an incoming call coming into the system. I'm going to go ahead and answer the call on my virtual phone on my desktop and notice how this notification here in the corner shows you the name of the person as they are represented in agency block their phone number and there's a button here to click that says open agency block when that is clicked it opens a new tab to that record that is associated with that number notice here that this also says open zoho which be it would be an example of you having multiple CRMs integrated simultaneously and the same phone number was found in both instances of the CRM you could decide which contact record you actually wanted to open. This is the active call screen in the app um, that is visible um, where the active call is. It would look like this in the mobile device as well. I have the ability to transfer, to put somebody on hold, to get a keypad, to conference somebody in, and I can quickly switch back to the monitoring view of the app uh, if I want to do that. As I had mentioned, the same information that's available here on the large screen is available in the palm of your hand as well. So you have all of the intel, who else is on the phone, this is the active call that I could do something with if I wanted to from my mobile device. But it's so much easier to use your mouse, point and click when you're at your desk, and of course for demonstration purposes. There's a lot more uh, real estate here to work with as far as showing you the things on the screen. Over here on the left would be the person who is on an active call. Over here on the right would be the extensions that that person is able to monitor. So for example, a receptionist could answer the call. This would be their extension. They're on the phone with Dr. Bill. That's actually clickable by anybody in the organization who has access to monitor that extension. And we're going to provide you with some very handy information at a glance. Like, do you have a pinned note for Dr. Bill? Who is the servicing agent? What were the last 90 days of call activity that happened with that particular phone number? And again, one click and you're into Dr. Bill's record. No more frantic searching into the agency block database to try to find a contact. 
Another thing that often happens is you have a family phone number where maybe um, Dr. Bill has a home phone in his record and his wife Brenda has the same home phone number in her record. You're not 100% sure who is on the phone until you actually answer the call. And let's say that you found out, oh, this is actually Brenda. Dr. Bill's wife who's calling, you can quickly and easily switch to her record, see her information, and again, one click from going into her record in Agency Block to find out whatever information you want to find. The next most important thing, and really the main reason why most people who sell Medicare are contacting us these days, is this red light over here that says that it is recording. So the way this system is set up, every call automatically begins call recording when it's an inbound call. You can also have the system set up so that every outbound call automatically starts call recording. And you can stop call recording anytime you would want to or need to. Or if for some reason a call got transferred or was parked and then picked up and the call recording was not enabled once you were on that call with that person you could click quickly and easily begin call recording again it will be saved as one continuous file of call recording the other thing that we're going to be able to do automatically for you is actually create a call log in agency block that a call occurred. It's going to look something like this. You'll be able to determine in the settings what, your, what you want your status to be when that activity is created. It could be completed. This one is not. It's scheduled as waiting. But we're going to show you as a subject that the call was with a specific phone number. We're going to show you the user on your system who had the call. It's not going to say Yaylink T54. It would say the name of the person in your organization and their extension. We're going to show you the day and the time the call occurred, the duration of the call, and again the phone number it was with. We're also going to send a copy of that call recording file over to Agency Block as an attachment and place that with this activity, making one nice, neat package for you of that activity. Another thing that we discovered that might be very helpful is for you to have a, an additional amount of context about an actual call when it occurs, rather than just the basic information that it actually occurred. So what we give you the ability to do is while you're on an active call, you can click here where it says call actions and come down here where it says create log and then choose where do you want to log this actual call activity. Is it actually with Dr. Bill or is it with his wife Brenda um, or is it with this other person who is in another CRM? Um, so you choose that and then you can enter a subject and some notes. Um, and click Save. And then once you do that, we will create that call log for you and it will look something like this. Let's say that you typed in the subject call about Medicare and in the notes you typed Dr. Bill just turned 65 and has a million questions. Scheduled follow-up for next Tuesday at 2 p.m. We're going to include that in the auto created call activity for you, making it more comprehensive and then at a glance in the future you're going to have a general idea what that call was about. Super helpful. Another thing you would be able to do from this screen is actually transfer a call. This is going to be especially helpful for those who are going 100% virtual and don't have a desk phone. This would be the way that you would transfer a call to an extension, directly to a voicemail, to a parking lot, to a conference room, or into a queue. You also have the same capability from the active call screen if you wanted to transfer from there. And again, remember I said all of the functionality that you have on the big screen, you have in the palm of your hand. So this create log um, situation could be done from your mobile app. The transfer could be done from your mobile app. Starting and stopping call recording can be done from the mobile app. So we give you all of that same functionality and the convenience of using your mobile device. 
I'm now going to focus on some of the ways that you can generate a phone call from the system. A lot of you will be in Agency Block looking at a person's record and you'd like to give them a call. You could click on any activity log that was created that has a phone number and just click the number, click start a call, and we're going to start dialing that call through the app if you have it enabled. If you don't have it enabled and you have a desk phone connected, then we'll dial your desk phone you will answer it and then the call will go out through your desk phone and generate it that way. You can click any phone number that's found inside of Agency Block, whether it was in an activity or whether it is listed in the contact information. So if I want to call Dr. Bill on his cell, I click there, I click Start Call, and there we go. I'm generating a call. Another thing that you might want to be able to do is actually send a text message to Dr. Bill's cell number. So we would just click, click send text message, choose the number that you want to send from if you have more than one that's available. Type in your message or copy and paste a pre-formatted message in here and click send and there you go. You just messaged an SMS text message to Dr. Bill's cell phone from your business number and at the end of every day we're gonna log that activity to Dr. Bill's record that it actually occurred every message from your organization every message back from him to your organization all in one convenient spot. We're also going to keep the history of those text communications on the Intel side as well so even if you don't have a CRM where that's going to get logged to we're going to have that information here for you from the very first text message that was ever sent to the most recent. We're also going to keep the call recordings for you as well over here on the Intel side. So you can see that this call was recorded. I just click on this microphone here and I have access to this call recording which can be downloaded. Um, anytime in the future, I can come into the call recordings area, search by date range. I can search based on the specific phone number that I know the call was with, and it will return to me the exact call recording or call recordings that match the criteria that I searched for. Super helpful if you needed to find a very, very old call recording to um, provide documentation of what actually happened on that call. If you're in the Intos app and you know that you have a recent call that you missed or somebody left a voicemail, um, you can simply click the return call button or the text message button to simply quick send them a quick text message referencing that you got the voicemail and confirming what it was that they had a question about or what have you and it's just super easy and super convenient. Another thing that you might do is you might search inside of the Intos system um, which is looking into the agency block database and find Dr. Bill's um, phone number and then just choose it and then touch call to generate a call that way. That's super convenient on the mobile device. When you're out of the office and you want to call a client from your cell phone but you don't want to disclose your personal cell, you can just start typing for William uh, to find his name or anybody that you know that is in the agency block database and find them as well and choose their number and click call and there you go. So super convenient, super helpful and uh, very valuable to be able to make that call from your mobile device that gets recorded, gets logged in agency block but does not disclose your personal cell. As I mentioned previously there are um, audio conference options where we can set up conference extensions for you. There is video conference um, solution that you will have 60 days of free access to. Um, there is internal chat capability where you can send direct messages, create channels where you send group messages, and then also initiate SMS directly from this interface where you can copy and paste or search for um, a group of numbers to send as an individual message. We also have fake, 
uh, fax capability inside here, an e-fax solution that's super easy to browse for a document, drag it in here, or search for it. We'll build a custom cover sheet for you if you would like and um, make it very, very convenient and handy for you to do. We're also going to handle a voicemail for you and send you a voicemail notification via email that you received a voicemail. We'll transcribe it. You'll be able to listen to it. Uh, you'll be able to manage it through this interface here or even more conveniently through the interface of the mobile app where you can see the history. Uh, we'll make that connection again to the person in agency block so you can see some intel. You can download that voicemail or delete it or forward it to another person in your organization. So in summary I'd like to just go over again what it is that we're going to do, what we're going to help you with, with the Intos agency block integration and that is we're going to give you those call notifications that are clickable to get you quickly into somebody's record. We're also going to um, auto record conversations for you and auto log them into agency block. We're also going to log SMS text messages that you have with a client or prospect into agency block and um, we're going to give you a great audit trail of, uh, of what happened in your organization. We're also going to um, give you some convenient ways to generate calls via click to dial or search and call or search and text or click to text. We're going to store your call history and we're going to score, store your text history and we're going to store your call recording history on the Intos side of the system even if you don't have agency block or any CRM at all or a CRM that we have not yet integrated with. Hopefully you found this information to be helpful. A couple of other additional questions that we often get are, will I be able to keep my numbers? 99.9% .9 of all numbers are portable. Our team can confirm that for you, but there's a very good chance you'll be able to bring your existing number or numbers over to the Intel system. You'll be able to keep your existing extension numbers, assuming they're three digits or longer. So we're happy to do that. Also, we'll help you with the setup of your system, but we also provide a very, very nice management tool here in the account center where you'll be able to do a lot of things that uh, you would like to do to customize your system with or without our team's assistance. We do hope that this was valuable um, for you, but if you have additional questions, or still feel like you would need a personal demonstration for your organization, feel free to contact our sales team and get that scheduled. It would be our pleasure to serve you.